is Pia here and today I'm going to show you guys how to do an e-girl look. So first I'm going to tell you guys what is an e-girl look. Well, an e-girl makeup style is basically, uh, e-girl is basically just a subculture of scene. If you guys don't know what scene is, remember when people had like dyed their hair blue and had like the wackiest hairstyles back in 2000s and girl, then they would like wear like a lot of black eyeshadow or like a lot of eyeliner all over their eyes. That is scene. And of course e-girl is a subculture of that and it is a mix between 2000s K-pop and of course rave culture. Basically it's a mix of all of those and you get an e-girl. And they mostly wear play, you know, plain skirts, so they're like schoolgirl stuff. So today I'm going to show you guys how I do the e-girl look myself. <laughs> First is like we use foundation or I like using BB cream so yeah. Then I use this blush, you know, because I don't really have any pink eyeshadow and the light ones. So I use this. It works. Put it like the eyeshadow like under your brow bone, I guess. <laughs> Just put it all over since it's very light. Yeah. It will create like a shadow for the next, like for like the next eyeshadow you will put on. Then I'm using this like pinkish red from this Folklore palette. I really love this color. I love using this palette. This palette's really cool. Then this one, put it like by the crease of your eyes, like so that it will like help create this line and transition from like the light pink blush that you use an eyeshadow to like this slightly much more intense deep pink red. Then I'm like using this Dream Catcher Caroline palette. I'm using the pink shimmer and I'm using that on like half of my lid by the outer side of my lid. <laughs> Next is like I'm going over with this Slumber Party palette from Caroline and I'm using the white shimmer eyeshadow. It doesn't look that shimmery on camera but in real life it has this like pink holographic if you look closely enough. So I'm putting that in my inner corner of my eyes on the lid. Then next is I'm gonna use the same blush that I use for like as an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna do an Igari blush. Um, an Igari blush is a type of blush that is used in Japan, and it's actually also called a drunk blush. But at the same time, the drunk blush that we actually know is like across the face. This one is just on the apples of your cheeks, and it will help make your face look younger. And I also like to, and I like using that instead of the one that's like across your face. But also, uh, don't forget to blush the tip of your nose as well and yeah, look a little sick. <laughs> Then I have this blush that's like brownish red and I'm gonna like put it on like my eye bags because I kinda wanna look like I'm tired. Not gonna lie, I was tired when I was filming this. So probably no effort needed but here I'm just gonna emphasize this a little more so I can look pretty cool. <laughs> Then 
Next is we're drawing the eyeliner. So the eyeliner we're doing is a Batwing eyeliner. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually, I'm really nervous when I do eyeliner on camera. So as you can see, I'm kinda messing it up a bit, but I'll fix it like off camera. <laughs> but this is how you do it. So basically just draw a normal half eyeliner then extend it across the crease of your eye draw a tiny triangle so basically you have two triangles if you look at it it looks like a mouth that's open and then don't forget to fill it in to draw like lower lashes and then after that draw like tiny hearts on like the bottom of your eyes on your cheeks that's like the signature. Next is we're going to be using like these giant lashes because that's part of the look. And big lashes make your eyes pop. Also, do not forget to cut your lashes to the size of your eyes. Uh, I like doing half lashes, meaning like only like half of my eyes has, you know, has the fake false lashes because it makes me look more animated. <laughs> Next is contour and highlight. So contour and highlight is just basically accentuating your features more like your cheekbones, your nose. That's basically what this whole shenanigan is about. <laughs> Then I like using this like dark berry color for my lips. Um, you guys could also use any color as long as it's pink or dark. And I of course said that lip gloss is optional but I like using lip gloss to make my lips shine. So yeah, this is how I do my girl makeup. You guys are probably wondering why does she love to do, why do you love to do this girl makeup? It's because it's kind of like a true calling self-identity of mine. I kind of have a complex where I want to be different than anybody. So here it is. And also pigtails because I love looking cute while looking a little scary to everybody else. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed something in this video and remember to follow me on all my social medias. I also stream on Twitch from time to time. And my Twitch name is Hiyohe. And of course I have also have an IG which is Hiyomago. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye! <laughs>